Hi, my name is Macharia Mary, a facilitator of learning at Kyoto School, and I'm a proud educator, and welcome to Meet the HR Show. Beautiful. I thank you for having us here. We really enjoyed being here, and you're very welcoming. So, sure. tell us, um, where did the passion for education start, or what was your journey like uh, in pursuing education? Right. Um, First, I'd like to say that it was not my decision to do education. Mm -hmm. My dad chose for me. Yeah. Probably I will be a lawyer by now, but oh, wow. yeah. Uh -huh. But my, my dad made a right decision for me. Mm -hmm. I do not regret. Mm -hmm. I've been teaching for over three years. Three years? Yes. Wow. And um, I'm happy to, to impact lives, mm -hmm. to nurture. Mm -hmm. talents yeah. and especially at Kyoto school mm -hmm. yes let's go back a bit uh, where you've talked about your dad chose the course for you mm -hmm. you know most of us we find ourselves doing courses because of our parents mm -hmm. and to not get certificates to now are here true no mm -hmm. so you can to kai i know it may go to me alafo we go pursue our dreams but with you it was different in any life and you feel probably he made the right decision pushing me to do this um I can't say mm -hmm. that there is something that made me. Mm -hmm. It's just that I had completed my KCSE, mm -hmm. stayed home for some time. Mm -hmm. And luckily we had finished with the same time with my sister. Yeah. And she happened to join school mm -hmm. before me. Mm -hmm. And my dad was like so serious about it. Mm -hmm. I am not paying for any other fee. Mm -hmm. I'm not paying for any other course, sorry, mm -hmm. other than education. Mm -hmm. So that pushed me into mm -hmm. just doing it. Mm -hmm. Yes. But now after doing it, what happened after pursuing the course? Oh, I, I first did my diploma mm -hmm. and after that I knew that I wanted to do a different thing for my bachelor's mm -hmm. but um, upon thinking mm -hmm. and looking for any other course I yeah. still felt like this is still what I want to do. I taught for some few months mm -hmm. before going back for my bachelor's program mm -hmm. and I knew it is what I wanted to do mm -hmm. for the fact that I started interacting with children yeah. I started impacting lives you mm -hmm. see someone will say that I did this because of my teacher mm -hmm. teacher Mary taught me this yeah. that makes you feel happy mm -hmm. so it pushed me to going back for my bachelor's program and I knew that is what I wanted to do mm -hmm. yes a while back before we went on air mm -hmm. and there was a kid making noise uh, behind here and one of my crew members I won't say who said mm -hmm. Uyu inge kuwa mtoto wangu ninge shika ni mtandike and to you you are like nothing akuna makosa mifanya so would you say according to you is teaching more about passion definitely it mm -hmm. has to be about passion yeah because you see if 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 my dad forced me but i had not grown passion into it mm -hmm. then that means that uh, i wouldn't be delivering in the right way mm -hmm. i wouldn't facilitate learning mm -hmm. in the best way possible mm -hmm. so but the moment you have passion yeah uh, you are able to nurture a kid. We have different kids in school. Mm -hmm. One will come in the morning, mm -hmm. they had an issue with the parents, yeah. so they come crying. Mm -hmm. It's upon you as a teacher to make sure that this kid carries the day mm -hmm. at peace mm -hmm. and is happy yeah. in order for the child to understand exactly what you're trying to teach. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that is just a kid being a kid. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm sure even for that crew member, yeah. when he or she was a kid, mm -hmm. I'm sure that is how he or she behaved still yeah. while in school. But for a teacher, you must have a heart for the children. Mm -hmm. Yes. When they are throwing tantrums everywhere, when they are all over the place, mm -hmm. you just have to understand. You have to. Oh, you to an, an akuam uh, Yes, a child being a, ch a kid. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes. there's no problem with that. There's totally no problem problem with that for me mm -hmm. that is just a child being a child mm -hmm. yes there's no problem have the heart for children. yes wow and uh, I wanted to know is there a difference between a regular teacher and mm -hmm. an international teacher all right so uh, a teacher is a teacher mm -hmm. so probably what we do yeah. for the regular and the international mm -hmm. might not be too different mm -hmm especially for now that we have the CBC which is more likely to be the international I mean it borrows a lot from the international curriculum mm -hmm. so some things might vary here mm -hmm. and there mm -hmm. but I'm sure it's not way too different mm -hmm. yes it's almost the same thing. it's almost the same because you can find even a, a a teacher in the regular mm -hmm. still gets a job in the international school and mm -hmm. you're able to catch up or adjust very easy mm -hmm. because you are a teacher you have passion mm -hmm. you are always willing to learn mm -hmm. to give the best mm -hmm. yes wow that is beautiful and now after completing your bachelor's mm -hmm. and uh, here you are you're pursuing your passion what happened afterwards 
after school that after is? school yeah after pursuing a bachelor's mm -hmm. and now you are now passionate about mm -hmm. teaching mm -hmm. and like when you started mm -hmm. what happened Okay, so after pursuing my bachelor's, I, I was lucky enough to get a job immediately. Mm -hmm. So I did not stay out for long, mm -hmm. tamaking, yeah. and the, which could have made me maybe think of in some, doing something different. Mm -hmm. You find most of the people, they do a specific course, but they end up um, working for a different course. Mm -hmm. But I was lucky enough to, to do this. Mm -hmm. And having a bachelor's, you know, to some point, I thought that I wanted to be a shopkeeper. Mm -hmm. I thought that I wouldn't become a teacher. Yeah. But after teaching, mm -hmm. the first months, of course, were very difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when I worked with the younger age, mm -hmm. I thought I would do better with the middle school level. Mm -hmm. But later on, I realized that once a teacher, you can teach any level, mm -hmm. so long as you have the passion. Mm -hmm. And yes, I'm carrying out very well. I would like to teach in the next few years. Mm -hmm. And currently I'm doing my master's. Wow. Yes, still based on teaching. Mm -hmm. I will still like to impact lives, mm -hmm. the learners, change mm -hmm. lives. Yes. That is very, very insightful. You're inspiring people like us. When you like a to pick it up and keep on pushing from where we left. You have to keep growing, you have to keep evolving, you have to keep learning new things. Don't stop at whatever level you got to. I mean, there's no end to learning. You can keep going, keep on learning new different things. So this is a call for you. Now, when it comes to teaching, you how long have you been doing it? For over three years. Over three years. Yes. And so far, so good, you like it. I like it so much. Mm -hmm. It's something I would want to do every day, wake up and do every single day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, you've talked about wake up and do every single day. We want to know. Uh, we want you to describe for us a life, uh, a day in your life mm -hmm. as a CBC teacher. Uh -huh. So basically, mm -hmm. the lessons begin at 8, mm -hmm. that is for Kyoto. Yeah. So once we begin at 8, mm -hmm. they will take breaks in between mm -hmm. and then go for lunch. And then after lunch, they have co-curricular activities, which mm -hmm. are very important, especially with the CBC. Mm -hmm. um, they will do the skating, mm -hmm. taekwondo activities, mm -hmm. ballerina, mm -hmm. swimming activities, swimming lessons, that is. Mm -hmm. They also have the physical education lessons, which make it so lively. Mm -hmm. And then after the activities, which I'm sure they make the children mm -hmm. also want to come to school every single day, mm -hmm. because it's unlike the 844 where they will just, uh, you know, they will just be pressured with academic performance. Mm -hmm. You see books all the time. So yes, so these one balances mm -hmm. the co-curricular activities and the act and the um, performance, mm -hmm. academic performance on the other side. Yeah. However, there is no competition for CBC. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and then. After that, mm -hmm. of course, they go back to class maybe for one, two hours mm -hmm. after lunch, mm -hmm. and then they call it a day. Mm -hmm. And like in our times when we will study up to 9 p.m., mm -hmm. you are in for preps, mm -hmm. books, uh, you have teachers in school until six o'clock, mm -hmm. but for them it's so different because they, they just, they get to leave school at four o'clock, mm -hmm. most of them at 3.30, mm -hmm. yes. So they are allowed to be children? Yes. They're not bombarded with too much information that they can't process all at once? No. They're given a break to be kids? Kids, yes. Oh wow, Yes, and, amazing. And still given a chance to enjoy school. Mm -hmm. You know, our time you will want to go back, you will hear education opening day and mm -hmm. you're like, oh my God, I don't want, I to, don't go want to go back to school. Mm -hmm. You will even fix sickness. It feels like prison. Yes, mm -hmm. but for them, every single day they yeah. know um, I, I have activities tomorrow it's swimming mm -hmm. that excites them so much mm -hmm. yes yeah wow and mm -hmm. have you had the chance to work in an international school well um, Kyoto offers both curriculum mm -hmm. it actually 844 CBC and the Cambridge mm -hmm. but I haven't practiced so far mm -hmm. however I, uh, I have been trained and mm -hmm. certified by Riara University mm -hmm. yes so you can also interact with international students yes now having that you have seen international students around here is it true there's this notion mm -hmm. that international students are babied and they are very very indisciplined how true is that well, As we. An indicator who has seen them firsthand. Mm -hmm. Okay, it, it might be true that we baby them, mm -hmm. but it depends with how you interpret it. Mm -hmm. Because you see, kids as of now, 
we we don't beat them mm -hmm. so that might be considered as babing mm -hmm. in the uh, african culture you put the rod away from the child is spoiling them. yes uh -huh. like in the 844 <laughs> we'll, we will be beaten yeah but Corporal in the punishment. yes <laughs> <Heavy actually>. <laughs> Uh -huh. I think back to, uh, for myself back in school, mm -hmm. I think I did all the type of punishments. Mm -hmm. Yes, probably <laughs> here and there in Noisemaker, uh -huh. I was so talkative. Yeah. But as of now, mm -hmm. they know their they know their their rights. Mm -hmm. So they are they are informed. They are exposed mm -hmm. to a lot of information. Yeah. So when the government says we do not beat children, they have that knowledge. Mm -hmm that we are not supposed to be beat, to be punished in school. Mm -hmm. So uh, we baby them mm -hmm. in, 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 in the sense that we do not pressure them with academics so much. Mm -hmm. They are able to do a, to work at different speed. Mm -hmm. There's this learner who will be so fast as mm -hmm. compared to uh, the other one who will take much time. Mm -hmm. And you have to understand all of them. Mm -hmm. So probably that is what people might call as babying mm -hmm. and not beating them. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you have to treat them nicely. Mm -hmm. Of course, as a teacher, it yeah. just comes naturally. naturally. Yes, mm -hmm. effort. it's effortless. You give it effortlessly. Mm -hmm. So uh, you might find those who are saying that they are indisciplined, mm -hmm. There are people who maybe it's not a calling, they were forced like me, but they did not grow passion later mm -hmm. in life mm -hmm. or in teaching. And then so they might end up, they, they could be beating these kids. Mm -hmm. So they end up saying, mm -hmm. we who are teaching in the international school, mm -hmm. we are babying these kids. So mm -hmm. they end up being indisciplined, but that's not true. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now that you've talked about it, I've realized for the couple of international schools I have had the pleasure of visiting, mm -hmm. those children are very, very intelligent for their age, mm -hmm. very well composed. They approach you and they talk to you and you're like, at your age, I wasn't even able to complete a sentence, you know, mm -hmm. while talking to an adult. Mm -hmm. But this is a kid who is very, very eloquent and talking and you're like, where? What was I doing at their age, you know? Anyway, guys, we're going to take a quick break right here at the HR, but we will be back to talk more with the educator, Miss Masharia Mary, so that she can give us more insight about her career and how it has been in the teaching sector. Don't go too far.